good morning everyone welcome back to another vlog i thought i would daily vlog today because because we have a very exciting moving update today please excuse what i look like i haven't showered um i still need to get ready for the day but i wanted to start off this vlog right now Ta-da! the couch is finally here guys oh my gosh honestly i'm so happy right now it arrived yesterday and honestly I'm just so, so happy it's here. It actually fits in perfectly. So there's a little like walkway area here, which is nice. And it just looks so good. I'm actually going to wash all of the covers today just because they are a little bit dirty, obviously, from the move and being reinstalled. But I love what this space looks like now. I feel like it's starting to finally come together, which is so, so exciting. But um, yeah, the couch is finally in. Um, if you guys are new here, it's the same couch as my last place. I saw some people asking about that um saying like why didn't i just keep this couch it's the same exact couch but i just had to take it back to um the factory because i had to split the base because it wouldn't fit in one piece into the lift into the lift and like through the skinny little corridor another exciting delivery we have a new mirror that arrived which is the mirror oh my gosh so this is the new mirror that i got and you guys know how i said in the last moving vlog that i wanted to put it at the front in this on this wall here like on top of the plinth well i actually don't i actually don't know if it's going to be able to be attached to that wall there because um underneath the wall it's like hollow and to put like a nail in there it would just probably fall through because it's actually a really heavy mirror so i think i'm actually going to have to put that mirror on this wall because this wall is like a lot more solid and i feel like nails could go into that wall a little bit better obviously when i leave i'll get it properly um patched up and repainted and whatnot i also think like having it here would be really cute for photos and stuff as well so that mirror is going to go here the plinth which will hopefully arrive maybe next week, which I'll show you guys in another vlog, is still gonna go at the front here. And then I'm just gonna buy like a really light mirror that can probably be like stuck on here. So there's just like maybe like a little small mirror, the plinth here, and then the really cool groovy shaped mirror at the front. Also look how pretty all of these flowers are. Gosh, I feel like my apartment's a florist right now, but my mum and dad sent me these flowers to celebrate the launch of my new 23rd Madison collection, which is so sweet of them. And then also these are from my friend Isabel. Anyways, that's pretty much all the updates for out here. I have to clean up the kitchen today, um, unstack and reload the dishwasher. I also have to obviously like take this rubbish out and put that mirror somewhere. I'm gonna wash all of the couches. And then also, in my room we have a lot to do as well i need to vacuum the floors there's like fluff everywhere just from clothes being around but we have another exciting update in my room too please excuse my bedding i'm gonna do like i said i'm also going to be washing all of my bedding today just because it's probably got you can see like fake tan stains all on it but yeah i need to definitely wash my bedding today but i'm so happy with how this looks i love love the bedroom vibes in here also all of this furniture by the way is from crafted furniture i will tag their account down below in the description box if anyone is interested but they've been so amazing helping me get everything here and they actually took apart this entire bed and rebuilt it um, yesterday when they came here so that was really nice of them another update in this room i actually did order thicker curtains here because obviously i love these sheer ones but um as i mentioned the light in this room at night is way too bright so i had to order like thicker block out curtains not block out but just not as sheer curtains so i'm probably gonna have to put those up next week when they arrive hopefully um and then i'm gonna take these ones into the office also i have so much to clean up in here we are going to do all of that stuff today i feel like i've got so many moving updates for you guys right now but um tomorrow or today i'm also going to be ordering um my office furniture because caitlin actually got accepted into a new apartment and she actually moves out tomorrow which is really exciting for her obviously it's gonna be so weird having her not live here anymore but i'm also so excited for this chapter and to actually like put together the office space so i'll show you guys as that happens but i might i was thinking i could show you guys like the desk that i want to get and like the office chair and the vibes and stuff but i think i might just wait until everything comes and then show you when it's here um but i'm going for like a black sleek theme in the office so i'm gonna get like a really nice big black desk and yeah i'm gonna do a few things in that room as well but obviously as things arrive i will show you guys but yeah that's all the moving updates i was so excited to vlog today because i was like i can't wait to show you guys the couch because i know that i feel like you guys are so invested in the couch and bed jenny with me as well so today is 
is Sunday and I'm about to go jump in the shower, do some skincare and then get ready for the day and get started on all of like the house things that I have to do today. I also have a few emails to respond to because honestly, Friday and Saturday, yesterday, I was just kind of a little bit bedridden. I actually went and got vaccinated on Friday. It's common just to have like a few mild symptoms. And today I'm back to normal, so I'm kind of playing catch up with everything. So for skincare today, we're gonna keep it super light. You guys have um, heard me talking about how like my skin's been having some breakouts recently. This one up here has been staying around for such a long time. Um, so I'm just trying to keep like my skincare really clean just to like settle settle my skin down. But I'm using some new skincare products that I recently picked up. So this is the first one. It's an under eye cream. I don't want that to focus too much on my nails because they are just so tragic. So please just ignore my lockdown lockdown nails. I still need to like really do something to fix them, but they're just so damaged right now that I just don't want to put well, I feel like I can't really put anything else on them. This moisturizing cream, I've been using it every day since I got it like a week ago. And I really, really like it. I love that my sweatshirt today says Sunday and it is in fact Sunday. Okay, that is my skincare done for the day. Let's go make breakfast because I'm literally about to pass out because I'm not hungry. Perfume today as well. We're just going in with my current favorite perfume. This is the Replica Bubble Bath. I love this scent it smells so like clean and fresh which is like my favorite type of scent look how much nicer this background looks now that there's actually a couch here but anyways for breakfast today i'm thinking i'm just going to do some classic scrambled eggs but i also have oh god some classic scrambled eggs and i also have some smoked salmon as well so i might do like eggs with some smoked salmon on the side I also went to the shops the other day and got some fresh cherries. I've been obsessed with cherries. And so I'm gonna snack on these while I actually make breakfast because like I said, I'm so, so hungry. Got my scrambled eggs and smoked salmon. And then I also have my cherries as well, which I'm currently obsessed with. Breakfast is done, everyone. We're gonna start cleaning, sorting our life out Sunday today. I'm just gonna light a candle and then I'm gonna start on all of the washing to do today. It's about 12 midday right now. I feel like I've been so productive today, which is really nice, considering yesterday I just like chilled in bed all day and just really took it easy. I also though wanted to mention that today's video is sponsored by Casetify. You guys know the drill, you guys know how much I love Casetify. You've probably seen my orange phone in a few of my recent vlogs. So this is actually my old phone. Um, I, If you guys watched my last one, I actually did get the new iPhone 12 and I'm just waiting on my new case to five frame cases to come for that phone um but i'm so excited i'm gonna get some i'll show you guys when i get the new phone cases for my new phone but um i did also keep this old phone just because i use this as the work phone now this is the phone case that i have on it which is case to five and something that i love about case to five cases is that they're just so well made and they really do protect your phone i really can't stress enough how much money they would save you in the long run because it really does protect your phone and when you drop it you don't actually have to get your screen like your glass screen repaired every single time which is really expensive and it adds up these are some other case to five cases that i have as well that i love um you guys have probably seen this before but we've got my plain black leather phone case which is really nice we also have a tan leather one that has customized madison on the back one is a khaki one that also says Maddie, which is really fun. I love that you can customize it to suit yourself and change the font, change the color, change the positioning. Another thing that I love about case to five cases as well is that all of their cases are made from 50% recyclable plastic and also some of them have antimicrobial coating as well. And the reason that these cases actually protect your phone so well is because they have, I'm pretty sure I'm saying this right, but Q-Tech technology. Basically, it's how they're made to protect your phone. You can actually drop them from like six feet and they won't crack. And if you guys are interested and you would like to get your own case to buy case and match with me, you can actually go to casetofy.com forward slash Madison and that will get you 15% off your own phone case. And I'll also have everything linked in the description box down below as well. So now 
It's time for lunch. I'm gonna make a salad for lunch. I have been obsessed with salads recently. I never really was a salad girl. Like, obviously I've always liked salads, but I just haven't had as much of an obsession as I do right now. I've been keeping it really simple, just having like a salad mix, olive oil, balsamic, um, and red onion and tomatoes. You can definitely add more things like cucumber or feta cheese as well if you want to, but I've just been keeping mine super basic and simple. I just diced up some red onion. I chopped up the last of the cherry tomatoes that I have and then I'm just gonna put a little bit of olive oil on top. This is the olive oil that I'm using and then I'm also gonna add a little bit of that balsamic glaze as well. This is the one that I use and I really, really like it. We're going to watch Friends while I eat my lunch and then we actually have to head off to the warehouse this afternoon. Honestly, this is like a dream. Sunday for me. The last week in the lead up to the launch has just been so chaotic and crazy. I kind of like slow down a little bit right now. Where am I? Season 5, episode 12. Let's go. I'm going to do the couch last. I think the first thing I'm going to do is my bed so that can kind of be dry before I go to sleep tonight. better so basically everything is done I've vacuumed I've wiped down everything I have cleaned the kitchen I've got the beautiful doors all open and it's such a nice like warm winter's day today which is just so nice but yeah everything's pretty much done I actually think my washing is done as well so I'm going to go take everything and put it outside to dry out here I've seen a few of you guys mentioning in my comments to get like a um like an outdoor dryer but I mean, I probably should now because considering lockdown is probably going to be going for a long time. But the reason that I didn't want to do that is just because, like, obviously I'm going to get the dryer fixed. So there's no point in me buying something when hopefully the dryer will get fixed soon anyway and I won't even need to use it. Who knows how long we're going to be in lockdown for at this rate. So maybe I should get it. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I do see your comments. I do see your suggestions. So thank you to everyone who was saying that. I'm dressed and I'm actually going to finally head out for the day. I just put on black trackies. I'm wearing a pair of my new sneakers that I got the other day in my previous vlog. If you guys watched that, I got these from Waves, I'm pretty sure. Yes. And I love them. I feel like I like these ones better than the high top ones on me, to be honest. I'm definitely going for little pops of color today, but I'm going to head to the warehouse and then... Wait, let me pull this down. I'm going to head to the warehouse and then I think I might go get a coffee and even like an acai bowl because I'm a little bit hungry after that salad that I had for lunch today, but I will bring you guys along. Okay, everyone, back from my little afternoon out and I actually did get <laughs> Toddy's on the way home. If you guys have followed my vlogs for a while, you would know that Toddy's is like my favorite Italian restaurant in Sydney and they actually do at home Toddy's as well, which is just so good. I do have salmon that I was going to have, but I figured it has one more day left um, before it has to be used up. So I might have that tomorrow on Monday and treat myself um, Sunday night tonight with 
toddies. All of my washing as well is all dried, so I'm going to put that on the bed later tonight. I also put another load on just before, which is just like my um, clothes washing as well. So I've got to go hang that up outside tonight. Such a nice afternoon. I don't know if you guys can really see because the camera is not focusing. It's like 4.30. It's like 4.30 right now, and it is such a beautiful afternoon. I've said it once and I'll say it again, but I'll never get over this view with the sunset and the sunrise every morning. It just makes me so happy. So yeah, happy Sunday, Bron. obsessed with the vibes in my room next on my Sunday afternoon agenda is taking out this load of washing which I just put on before and I'm gonna go hang that outside on the chairs outside so they can dry overnight and then I also have one more load of washing to do tomorrow so honestly massive washing day today I just got out of the shower everyone I cleansed my face in the shower and I'm just gonna do some skincare before I go and make a tea and wind down for the rest of the night. It's been such a productive Sunday. I feel so good. Honestly, I feel 10 out of 10. I love getting everything done. But for skincare, I'm using the CEO Glow from Sunday Riley. This is the vitamin C and turmeric face oil. I'm thinking in next week's vlogs, we're going to have to do something about my nails because I just can't even show you guys the products up close because my nails are just that tragic face oil is on and then i'm going to put on a little bit of and then i'm just going to use some of that under eye cream that i used this morning on again we know we know my feelings about under eye bags so i'm doing everything that i can to fix them but for lips i'm going to use my Laneige lip sleeping mask this is an og product i'll be using this product for such a long time and that is my Sunday skincare routine done. 